I was not sure. I said safe changes and suddenly everything went by. So hello. Today we want to talk about reviews, how you can get reviews and how you are able to keep your reviews under your control. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block and we are making social media simplified where you can learn a little bit more techniques and practice you can do in your business so that you can make full use of your social media. So today I want to go into live videos and into your reviews so that you can be able to get as many reviews as possible and you want to make sure that you also have full control over review videos. So I have a lot of questions how we can get reviews and where do I get the reviews. If you are relying on third party platforms like um, Silo or like um, Realty Review, whatever, where you don't have control over reviews, even self, Facebook. Now, when Facebook changed to the new users, to the new uh, platforms for uh, business pages, some of the reviews are gone and cannot be recovered. So you want to make sure that your reviews, you have control and you can reuse the reviews over and over again as you need them. And that is very easy. One platform we are recommending is Google. Google will not go away. And Google makes it very easy for you to ask for reviews. That is so that you are out if somebody is Googling you and we know I Google first before I want to go out there and my, make a buying decision. I read all the reviews and so do many, many other people. And you want to make sure that you are getting as many reviews in the process. So there is a myth out there that you only can get one Google review, which is not completely true, because when you are in the process with your buyers or, or sellers, you have different steps. And during the different steps, you are able to get a review how it was working with you. So that is one thing we would look into. But the most important thing is even the, even if you don't want to be on video, you are able to get video view reviews. Those are reviews you can take with your phone where you own that review and now you can upload it to platforms where you want them and reuse them over and over again. People are more likely to uh, view reviews instead of giving the reviews. So make sure that you are having reviews on videos because now you are able to place them on different platforms, meaning you can use that video and do a video review upload into your website. You can now upload it and put it into your Facebook feed put it on your Instagram account, even on TikTok. So if you are making use of video reviews during the process with your clients, then let them tell the story how it is working with you until that process. That gives you a much, much better view for your new client. They heard from a third party how happy they were through the different processes and you in return not only have one review but have different reviews through the process if it's finding the house making a review how happy they are how they find you a house now you are going through the inspection process hey why not make a video and ask your client how the inspection process went and how they liked how you took care of them. Now you are going through the contingency, meaning certain terms of the contract needs to be fulfilled. If that is done and they are now almost on the closing table, 
ask for a review. The next step would be final home inspection. And that is where they are the hypers. They are ready to sign the contract. They are ready to move into their new house soon. And that's where your clients are the most happiest. And that's where you should get a review, an overall review of your clients. So, or with your clients, depending how you want to do it. So giving them a few questions to answer how it was working with you. You can be with the video in within the video, which we would highly recommend. But if you don't want to, then have it somehow staged that they recognize they worked with you as the realtor or as the brokerage so that you are can be identified and people know they worked with you in the process so certainly you want to make sure that you are somehow in the video if you are not willing to do video there is another option for you where you are doing slideshows of your review so that people get to know you who you are as a person you could take different pictures and ask for a review on google and now you could take the picture where your client is happy certainly ask for permission so that you can use that pictures if they are in the picture and then put their description or their review below they gave you on google so we would recommend you are using google we think google will not go away nobody knows for 100 percent but if you use a third party platform like Zillow, like um whatever is out there facebook you have no control when they are shutting you down there was i think it was almost last year if not even two years when Zillow restricted the reviews of people can see and it's all the way down there so don't rely on third party reviews make your own review tell your own story let your customer tell the story how it is working with you using your service or even if you are doing an, a seminar if you are doing a first time home buyer seminar seller seminar that is the option for you even if they are not a client yet it is an option for you now to ask how it was for them what was their takeaways so we would recommend when you are doing a seminar if somebody signs up letting them know that you will use the picture from the seminar and now if you don't want to be in the video now you can put together a slideshow as a video making use of the reviews and use of your pictures getting reviews for your services so we are in a heavy time where people review everything they review how it is working with you they review products they before they even make a purchase decision or a decision to work with somebody many of them reviewing you as a person as but also as a professional and even if you would say now hey i'm not but i get referrals i to 95 percent would say those people that are referred to you they will as well review you first before they are agreeing to work with you they will go and will google your name and they will review you if you are a good fit for them so we would recommend if you are not getting reviews start getting reviews start with google google makes it very easy if you have not set up your google my business yet reach out to me we are happy to help so we can show you and we can walk you through the steps if you are having your Google review, use the platform. Google is sending out the reviews for you. You just have, so they are giving you the steps, request a review, you send it to them, and then watching if the reviews are coming in. Also make sure when you are getting a review, 
thanking your reviewer that they took the time and give them a few kind words. When you doing your own video views, now that is the highest form of control you are having because now you can take those videos and you are able to share reviews on different platforms. You can post them to your social media. You can post them onto your website. You even can message them to somebody who is not sure if they want to work with you and say, hey, here is somebody who worked with you. Listen what they have to say. Maybe they was in the same situation. Or maybe if they are unsure, you can send them through the steps how they work with you. So you can tweak your reviews and use them as you need them. So that is something we would recommend that you have almost full control or you take your own video reviews where you now have control over. Even with the video views, now you are able to tuck those reviews. You can build your audiences, everybody who built your review. It is not only on Facebook. You can post them all over online. We would highly recommend that you make a use of your video view reviews where people tell other people how it is working with you. So if you use the video strategy, then you have 100% control where, when, and what you place your videos on. If you are using Google reviews, then they are prominent on Google. People will easily find reviews and review you. But also you could put those video reviews you received earlier and put them on Google and now your videos are there. There, it's a little technique where you now also can put them on there and Google will like that because now Google know you are staying in business. And then if you want to use the third party platform like reach out or reach your your silo and other platforms that are offering you Google reviews, certainly you can do them. But now your reviews will stay when you have control of it and when somebody is especially when you are with a company or with a brokerage and you want to change those reviews will probably will not go with you they will shut down your reviews and you are starting from crash uh, from scratch not from yeah it's a crash but you have to start from scratch but that would be easy if you have your own reviews using your videos and if you don't want to do videos do video slideshows but at least have some control over the view, the video reviews so that you can make full use of them. So that is my tip of today. You need reviews for your business. People are going for reviews, people reviewing you, and you want to make sure that you are as well able to have the reviews on your fingertips, use them when, they, when you need them, or make use of it when building your audience or even retarget your people who have maybe viewed reviews and put another review. So that it's so much more you can do, but you need to have full control of the reviews you are having. So don't rely on third parties. Don't um, only count on Zillow or um, other third party applications where you can put download your reviews, make sure that you are having them in your database, that you are storing them where you store your reviews. So if you have any question how to do the Google reviews or how to set up your business, Google My Business listing, just reach out to me. Or if you have any question, put them down below. We are happy to answer your question and making sure they are answered. We will be back as always every Wednesday 12 noon with some tips and tricks for you and your business so that you can make the best of your social media presence. Until then, if we don't hear from you, I will see you next week, same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and 
Auf Wiedersehen.